Ah, I have discovered the location of the evidence we need to clear our names. Obtaining that data, however, will be difficult. For one, it is stored in a secure facility in the Gorath system. For another, it is held within a system that utilizes cutting-edge data security. Security that goes even beyond my abilities. Fortunately, I happen to know a very talented specialist that can assist us. For the right price. I've arranged a meeting at Shangdu on Nimbus 3. Meet me there, and bring old Martok with you. We can always use some extra muscle. <laughs> Something you need? And see why Adit Pop enjoys it. Indeed, this place doesn't hide its purpose behind smiling half-naked fools and manufactured weather. But enough of that. We need to consider who we're working with and where she's leading us. She is Mokai. Only an idiot would not be concerned about her intentions. It is no secret how I feel about Jempak, especially after everything that has happened. But I find myself thinking, we may be replacing one tyrant with another. Should that prove to be the case, I will not hesitate to end Jaula's reign as well, even if it means being the Chancellor again. Ha! Do the job for a day, and see if you say the same thing after. For now, let's find this witch of Nimbus 3 and see what sort of criminal mischief she's conjured up for us. Welcome to Shangdu, an entertainment experience unlike any other. Brought to you by Madrin Enterprises. Would you like to hear about our drink specials? Why yes, I saw a particularly fearsome looking Klingon woman arrive earlier. She wasn't interested in the drink specials either. 
this is normally where I'd expect a little compensation for letting you cut to the head of the line, but uh, I can see you're not in the mood for a shakedown, so please go on in and enjoy your Shangdu experience. Too rough for my tastes, <laughs> Klingons. Male or female. Afraid I haven't seen any Klingon women recently. But if you change your mind, I'll be around. Step away before I get angry. I've been to tell us before. Live to tell the tale. I've got a Federation death sentence for that. So you don't want me getting angry. you got a nice hit of Axanol for me to numb the pain. Please, just leave me alone. Hey, you, listen. I need you to help me suffer a little better with these, these ruffians. Clear. Ah, uh, hey, no cling on. Something wrong with your eyes? Listen, I say the cash of course got the best kisser of the week. And these hooligans say that cool It's the Vulcan team's got the best picture. Tell me out, pal. Who's right here? Me or them? See? See? I told you, case and claws are fast. No, pay off. One shot of the best drug you in our house. Hey, so look now. You're a real, real upstance. Hope you find your cling on. Help you with something, stranger? As a matter of fact, I have. She's over in the VIP section with some rough customers. Syndicate, if I were to guess. Saw her kick some fella in his tender parts a while ago. Found out the hard way it ain't wise to rile up a Klingon gal. Just saying, she might be in a mood. Red light, you know. This place isn't as wild as it 
used to be when Hassan had the Swedish home. Back then, the place was actually Speaking of the Swedish, introductions are in order. This is Bob, captain of the Cold Star. Your reputation precedes you. I have to say, I've never done business with a hero before. Ought to be interesting, at least. Couldn't agree with you more. The surly, well-armed Orion next to me is Kenya, and the esteemed daughter of Earth there is Wilkins, our information specialist. Hear that, Kenya? <laughs> Hold us, ladies. I like them already. I'll bet she does. I'm a handy gal to have around. Especially if you're looking to acquire some very secure data from some very country folks in a certain empire we all know in the world. I gotta say, you don't think small, do you? With both hands and my feet if I need them. <laughs> Relax. Our mutual friend the witch here wouldn't have set up this little collab if she didn't think I was the right gal for the job. I'll get you a Picking up a lot of EM interference. Could be some sort of disruption here. You need to get out of here now. We've got incoming! <laughs> The battle is all but won! Keep fighting! We're being hailed. Looks like a locust. Well, well, well. Having a little trouble contacting your ship. No transporter waiting to beam you up? You can thank me for that, friend. Chancellor Jim Puck has placed a bounty on your head. Enough latinum to buy a small moon. With that kind of profit on the line, I simply had to turn you into the Gligons. What Ferengi in their right mind wouldn't? As far as I'm concerned, the wrong Klingons are about to set sail for Stovokor or Varahala, or wherever they go when they die. I'm afraid I'm not an authority on the Klingon afterlife. I think I'm going to agree to disagree with you on that. Try not to hold it against me. After all, it's just business.
Dragon Boss must be desperate to keep sending mercenaries after us. That Ferengi's got this place locked down tight. Only way we're getting out of here fast is by getting the bypass codes from him. As a matter of fact, I do. The little darling's hiding in the arena. You mind taking that field down? I got a splinter in my hacking finger. that personal shield of his, but there's no way we're knocking it down with our weapons. He can sabotage the generators that are powering the shield out
own plane. But you haven't won yet. With just a push of a button, I'll beam out to my ship and leave you here for whatever bounty hunters or mercenaries that come along. Well played. Oh, not much. Other than I've broken through the jamming and oh, contacted our ships. It appears they've locked their weapons onto modern ship and all. You, you wouldn't dare. You couldn't, could you? First the Klingons betray me, and now this. I'd have better luck dealing with the boar. Fine, you win. The field's down. Now get out of my bar. Let's get moving before I change my mind and shoot this little capex for his betrayal. If the Ferengi hasn't told Jempok and Imperial Security where we are by now, I'll eat cold, dead gawk. We need to get moving. As ready as possible under the circumstances, Nimbus 3 has become considerably more inhospitable, and it wasn't terribly pleasant to begin with. The crew of the Cold Star stands ready. Some of us a little more than others. What can I say? This caper's gonna be a real peach. Hell, I'd have signed up just for the bragging rights. Well, that said, the latinum we're getting for this is gonna spend mighty nicely. Think I might spend the entire summer on Risa. Y'all seen those cute little statues they got there? Whew! Girl can get into all sorts of mischief with one of those. The Lucara is engaging the enemy ahead. I see no need for Jaula to claim all the glory for herself. Prepare for battle! Kapla! I am not a leader who hides behind their allies like Jempak. If the key to his defeat lies in that stronghold, I will be there to seize it. Do I make myself clear? If you two 
Targs are done growling at each other, we have work to do on Gorath. At it, Pa. Remain in orbit on Overwatch. With luck, we'll get what we need before the entire Empire comes to end us. This place used to be a stronghold for House Torg. I recognize the lingering stench of cowardice and dishonor. We can mock our enemies later, General. Until then, we have work to do. Yeah, about that. I took a little peek at the data flow around here, and I've located a prime access point. It's not far. I should be able to get what we need there. There's our console, right there in the corner. All right, all right, all right. Here we go, folks. Stand back and watch this magic happen. Oh, and if you don't mind, like keep any uninvited guests from putting a disruptor blast in my back while I work. I'll be nice to go.
I think they're learning just how dangerous they are. it up, stored it in several systems here. This here's the first system. I need to crack the next one to get to the rest of the good ones. Ready to move on, boss? Console's behind that big door, at the end of the hall. Here we go again, folks. You know the drill. Keep you safe, get your data. I like the keep me safe part more myself. problem. Some sneaky bastards in the system with me. They shunted the last bit of data before I could grab it. It ain't all bad. I managed to lock the network down before they could get it out or delete it. It's stuck in another system, though. If we hurry, we can get to it before whoever's blocking me does.
gonna stop me. Huh. Jempok wants them alive. Deny them an honorable death. Gonna need an extra set of hands here. Our mysterious friend might try to stop me. And I need one of you to run interference for me in the upper security system while I get the data. Extract the final evidence. We got it all right, but the other side knows we did too. You ask me, it's time to get out of here while the getting's good. We can't beam out of here. Room's heavily shielded. Might have better luck in the room just outside, though. And so your treason, your dishonor grows! <laughs> I suppose I should thank you. The evidence you've collected will help me keep Jumpak in line. After I take it from your corpses, of course. <laughs> You like my pet? <laughs> uh, it has half your looks and twice your brains. Ah! At least I have both my eyes, old man. Training dogs for battle has been a family specialty for centuries. According to legend, my ancestors could fire lightning from their eyes. With this power, they tamed the first wild tars. Primitive, superstitious nonsense. Ah, but in battle, such nonsense can be most effective. As you are about to learn. Mahri! You dishonor your house and your people! I will drag you to the deepest pit in Grethel and leave you to rot! You will do little more than fill the belly of my beast, Matriarch. You will never live to see the day where I am the Chancellor, the dawn of my empire! Kill them. Make sure the beast is well fed before you return. We will not meet again. Die well. <laughs>
death. A warrior's death! We have the evidence of Jimpok's crimes, but it still needs to be revealed to each and every Klingon. Once I am back on the Lucara, I will breach security on one of the comsats in orbit over Gorak. After that, I will transmit the evidence of Jempok's crimes throughout the Empire. I think I can quicken that up considerably. I've seen enough of their code to crack one of their comsats like an egg. That is acceptable. Your assistance will be appreciated, Wilkins, and well rewarded. Enough talk. The means to end Jimpok's reign is in our grasp. It is time we put it to use. Kapla! Lucara is in position. We are about to begin the process. And by we... She means me. Hi. First time I've ever been on a Klingon ship, and it's nice and all, but I could do without all the red lights. Makes me nervous. After what we just went through, huh, this will be a walk in the park. But seriously, keep the Lucara in one piece and everything will work out just fine. Check your long-range sensors. A fleet of Klingon vessels is approaching at high warp. I doubt they are coming for blood wine and gah. This pathetic crusade of yours ends here and now, fools. Ah, Jumpbox here. Saves me the trouble of hunting him down. This is the Lucas. Defend the Matrion! Diverted power to defend the system! Request covering fire and off the beach! This is the 
speak now to all within the Klingon Empire. Bear witness to the treason of Jimpok, the true mastermind behind the attack at Kittima. Fire the weapon. That is Jimpok's vessel. He fired the weapon. This dishonor must be avenged. Bah! Nothing but more Mokai lies. Neither Jimpok nor Chakula is fit to lead. I will not follow either of them into battle. The Empire has lost its way. Helm, set a course for home. Our house must secure its own path forward. Alone. They abandon us! Cowards! Traitors all! The great houses have lost their honor! It does not matter. The Empire has no need of a High Council. All it needs is an Emperor. It was all in vain. The battle was won. But the alliance of the great houses my brother's greatest work is lost. The battle is over. Yet the victory we have earned is bereft of glory. This has taken a toll on Lady Jaula. I believe she has suffered a crisis of faith. We must leave this place before Emperor Jumpok sends more of his rabid targs to attack. Jumpok. In his first act as Emperor, has dismissed the High Council. The alliance of the Great Houses, forged by Tukuvma, has been shattered. Those who have not sworn fealty to Jimpok have split to pursue their own agendas. Only a scant few still stand with House Bukai. Lady Ju'ula believes she must follow in her brother's footsteps and seek the wisdom of the monks on board. Only there, she will discover what must be done to restore the Empire and defeat Jumpok. Now that our names have been cleared, we can move openly again within the Empire. I will contact you when the time comes to travel to Bora. Something. Congratulations, Admiral.